Hello, my Luminites. It is Ivy, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, hello, my name is Ivy, also known as Intuitive Ivy M here on this channel and on Calendly.com slash Intuitive Ivy M, where I do live tarot goal tarot and oracle card readings so yes so if you'd like to book a live uh, voice reading with me then go ahead and click that link down below so hi welcome to my channel again if you are new here my channel is all about the magical the mystical and the supernatural mondays are for the magical wednesdays are for the mystical and fridays and now occasionally saturdays are for the supernatural Today we have a new segment on my channel and this was recommended by one of my fellow subscribers um, because she watches Bailey Sarian, Sarian, I'm not sure how you say her last name but I love her channel and so she suggested oh you should do something like that but with like paranormal stories and I was like you know what that seems like a cool idea I mean Bailey has hers and Jamie French has her uh, makeup and movie Mondays so I'm like okay supernatural and slay saturdays i think that'll be the thing of course i'm not as talented as they are whatsoever not at all in no shape or form am i as makeup talented as they are but i thought it would be cool so this isn't going to be every single saturday but occasional saturdays uh a few times a month at least twice a month i think it'd be cool to do that and talk about some sort of paranormal story so today we're going to we're going to start with a classic story a classic paranormal story even if you don't know the original story you guys would probably know the i mean the actual horror film because she has a horror film under her name and that is the story of Annabelle. I actually had an exact replica of the original Annabelle doll and she's gone missing and I haven't found her. I don't know what happened to her. I really don't. So I thought it would be cool to tell the original story of Annabelle as I'm doing my makeup like a Raggedy Ann doll. So let's go ahead and get started right after this a brief intro. Okay, so the story of Annabelle. So obviously you guys may already know Annabelle from The Conjuring. What Hollywood like likes to make everything over dramatic. I mean, look at look at Annabelle. Let's just put her on the screen here. She went from this, right? to this in the movie. That just shows you how much of an over exaggeration Hollywood is. <laughs> yeah, so the story takes place years ago back in i i want to say it was around if not the 60s the 70s somewhere around that time frame um that this took place and it starts this is okay so this is a real story this is a real the real thing not the conjuring story backline but like the actual story of what happened the story starts off with a woman named donna and donna was a uh she was a student and she was really hoping to become a nurse and she was in school for nursing like that was her passion that's what she wanted to do and so donna's mother sent her a gift and obviously donna was already an adult i mean she's in college gonna be a nurse soon and her mom decides to get her a beautiful raggedy and doll so Donna is actually really happy with this gift she likes this gift and she shows her roommate her roommate's name is Angie and Angie is not just a roommate she's a friend so she shows her the doll and you know everything's good and everything's cool and we we like we like Annabelle they like Annabelle everything's going good until until one day Donna comes home from school or whatever it may be and they start to notice they notice Annabelle's hand slightly moved so Annabelle usually is in Donna's room and she lays her on the bed and Donna has her shifted one position and then Annabelle 
seems to shift a little bit in one in a different direction so at first Annabelle's hand just moves from one position to another so she could have her hands on her lap and then when Donna comes home they're to the side or you know so she's not moving completely just her arms just her hands that's all yeah so they just shrug it off like it's not a big deal okay so all is fine and dandy until it's not just the hands anymore and Annabelle starts moving complete positions and not just moving complete positions but going from room to room i think they say that more often than not she was in the living room after donna had left her in her room so that wasn't the only weird part weirdest thing yet out of all of that is that she would be standing up sometimes this doll, if you guys have ever had a Raggedy Ann doll, they're stuffed. Okay, so these dolls have stuffing in them basically. Like they're not dolls that are supposed, are meant to stand up. They're not meant to stand up. They're not one of those dolls that you could position standing up. You could sit them up and they can sit up but you cannot stand them up only because their feet are stuffed too with stuffing. After the doll began uh, being in a completely different room, they started noticing notes around their apartment building. There was notes written in parchment paper and the, all of the notes said in, in a child's handwriting, help us. Not help me, help us. The strangest part about this is that the the paper was it was in an old fashioned parchment paper. And that's when Donna and Angie were like, okay, uh we're gonna have to call in some experts and find out exactly what is going on here because now she's not just changing positions. Now we can't chalk it up to the wind. Now she's standing up and she's writing us notes in parchment paper saying, help us. So it was at this point in time that they contacted a medium. And this medium came over to the house and Donna and Angie sat with this medium and they were like, hey, they brought over the doll and they're like, hey, what is going on with this doll? Like, they explained to her what she's been doing, what exactly is going on, and so the medium tapped into Annabelle to find out exactly what's going on with her. And that is when the medium starts to tell them that this doll, the inside, living inside this doll is a spirit of a child named Annabelle Higgins. And Annabelle Higgins was a little girl who lived in those apartment buildings before they were apartment buildings. And she was very drawn to uh, Donna because she said that she was lonely and she wanted to stick around and basically be friends, be her ghost buddy because she was lonely in the afterlife and she wanted company and she wanted friendship and companionship and that's when donna and angie were like oh okay like we're just gonna we're gonna let her live in this doll's body and that's that's the biggest mistake that they made <laughs> so they the doll asked for permission to stay inside the doll and to basically live with them so she basically gave them permission to stay there in their home and to basically attach herself, almost attach herself to Donna because Donna supposedly just was a good person. So after that, their friend, whose name is Lou, by the way, decided to stay, decided to stay the night at Donna and Angie's apartment and at this point Lou already know who Annabelle was and he already he already knew who she was like she 
I look more like a clown right now. <laughs> like he already knew Annabelle and he did not like her. He told Donna and Angie that he didn't trust this doll. Like he just did not trust this doll. He was like, yeah, you think that she's a child, but I sense something evil in her. Like I do. And Donna and Angie were like, don't be silly, Lou. Plus you're staying in our house, so. <laughs> and so Lou stayed in, I believe it was a spare bedroom when he woke up. And obviously he said this and the doll somehow heard. So I don't know if he said this when the doll was around at the home, but the doll knew what he said. So Lou woke up in the middle of the night to Annabelle in the room. Annabelle ended up getting on top of him with her her little body that I'm telling you this doll is a if you guys seen if you guys have seen this doll like I I had her like I didn't have her her but I had an exact replica of her so I know how she is like she's not it's she's stuffed like she's stuffed she's not there's no way that this doll had the strength on her own anyway to, to manage to wrap her hands around this man's neck. So obviously something else was there. It was obviously at this point in time, we already know it's not just a dog. And it wasn't just a kind little spirit. And so this doll wraps his her hands around Lou's neck and basically strangles him until he is put to sleep. They end up leaving somewhere, Angie, Donna, and Lou, and when they come back, they hear a noise, like a noise coming from Donna's room, and Lou goes in there and finds Annabelle thrown across the room on the floor, and she's just thrown on the floor, and Lou goes inside and goes to grab Annabelle, and when he grabs Annabelle, he feels this sting, this sharp sting on his back. And when he looks back, he sees blood seeping through his shirt. He picks up his shirt and there are three deep claw marks into his back. And so at this point in time is when Donna and Angie decide to reach out to the church and the church gets in contact with Ed and Lorraine Warren who are infamously known for all of their paranormal supernatural work. Lorraine, Ed and Lorraine are known demonologists, I believe that's what they're called, um, where they study demons and all that stuff. And so that is when they tell Donna and Angie and Lou that this doll is in fact not a child but something much darker. This doll is possessed by a demon or a demon has attached itself to this doll and by Donna basically giving it permission to live in that body, she allowed this demon to have full control. And so they said that if they had kept that doll within a few more weeks, they all would have been dead. So Ed and Lorraine take the doll with them and on their way home or to the museum or wherever they're taking this doll, their car begins to stall and they cover, by the way, they cover her up in like a plastic bag so that they don't know, she doesn't know exactly where they're going. Um, so their car begins to stall and apparently like Ed puts like the cross on Annabelle's forehead and they start to pray and this and that and then the car starts to work again and then they make their way to a priest and this priest when he sees Annabelle he says oh you're just a rag doll and that was a huge mistake because when he's leaving, uh, he starts to have some really bad problems on the road that he almost, he almost gets the road off the road. Like, you can't mess with this doll because she will mess with you right back. And so, yeah, that, so that happens. And 
yeah so after that they decide to put this doll away in this very infamous box which was a box that I actually wanted to make for my doll and so now that is where she remains and the most uh, recent horror story through Annabelle is that even when she's in that box apparently there was a couple that went to the Warren's Occult Museum and there was a boyfriend and a girlfriend and they came in a motorcycle and they were poking and making fun of the doll more specifically the boyfriend was and they were laughing and saying that it wasn't true and this and that and then they left on their motorcycle so on the way they ended up having this big accident and the boyfriend so while they were poking and making fun of Annabelle and poking at the glass Ed told them that they had to leave because they're like obviously them doing that they already know what Annabelle's capable of and they don't want anything they didn't want anything to happen so on their way to wherever they were going um, they ended up getting into this huge accident and the boyfriend ends up passing away and the girlfriend ends up in a in very critical condition where she's in the hospital for a very long time when she finally gets out that's when she tells them that like yeah we went to go see Annabelle and this and that that's it you guys this is my look that I've completed <laughs> Um, this is my Annabelle look that I've done um, after the Raggedy Ann Annabelle. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed making it. And let me know, like, what do you guys think that Annabelle is? Um, do you guys think that she's this demon? Or do you think this is a whole story that's been fabricated by Ed and Lorraine Warren? Because they've already been caught a few times in their fabrication. Let me know down in the comments below. And let me know if you guys like these videos because this was kind of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.